This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another, Zarkin Production. Hello and welcome to ZOC. I'm your host Andrew Carver. This is an introduction to the Nexlux Wi-Fi wireless LED smart controller working with Android and iOS system mobile phone. Free app for green, red, blue LED light strips. 50-50-35-28 LEDs. Comes with one 24 key remote control. Uh, this allows you to control your LED lights with a free app. Uh, allows you to remote control anywhere over the internet. allows you to use one app to control many Wi-Fi controllers at the same time. And uh, it can make the lights pulse with the rhythm of the music in your smartphone. It comes with a full 12-month warranty, uh, and but please carefully read the user manual before using. Uh, contact us with any questions if you are uncertain about the Wi-Fi controller. Now, I've demoed the Nexlux lights before, and that would be these. And uh, they do happen to be free on sale right now, so I would get some if you need some LED lights, because they are excellent, excellent lights to have. Uh, they have uh, just white ones, they have multicolored ones, and they have these down here as well. So, if you need some LED lighting, uh, they're awesome to have. Now, if you already have LED lights, this is why this product exists. Because this is the Wi-Fi controller that the more costly LED packages use. So, with this, uh, you can control up to 16 million colors. Uh, say your favorite colors, smartphone control, sync control by group, dancing with music, which is great for parties, uh, time remotes, so you can have it wake you up like a wake up light, remote control by internet, and custom mode. Now something to keep in mind is that this particular controller uh, is only compatible with green, red, blue light strips says it right here. The remote can only be used for green, red, blue light strips. So before you buy, please first make sure your light strip is green, red, and blue. And if it'll probably look like this. So if it looks like that, you're definitely in the clear. And here's the controller itself. So it has uh, three control modes. Uh, you have Alexa with uh, just on-off function. So that you could use that as a wake-up light function. Uh, smartphone, uh, that is the app that you can use to control your lights over the internet. And also uh, control it with the music on your phone. And of course it comes with an IR remote. And here's some applications for use of this controller uh, with your pre-existing light strip. Uh, you can have it light up your little living room. You have it light up a light behind your TV is kind of like a really pretty accent. Uh, you can have it uh, light up your bedroom. It's kind of like wake you up in the morning. So, hey, get up. It's morning time. Or whenever you happen to need to be woken up. Uh, you can have uh, a, really, a really pretty some kind of room, dance room, disco room, something. Whatever this is. It looks really nice. I'll tell you that in your home. Uh, you also have it as a lighting for your living room and uh, whatever that room the hand is covering up. So uh, any kind of light that you may need, uh, this controller can help make that 
that much easier by providing you more control options uh, for, again, your green, red, blue light strip. Here's a picture of the timer thing. So you're all asleep and you set your phone to set off your lights at a timer. Here we have some people partying to the beat of the lights, so that's pretty cool. Now naturally, I would just suggest putting up the money and just buying the Nexlux light strips uh, because they are an awesome product and uh, they already come with this controller. But for those of you who already have a LED strip installation pre-existing in your home, business, whatever, uh, this could be an excellent way of upgrading uh, that LED strip installation uh, without having to go through the whole reinstallation process. But enough about the Amazon posting. Let's see this device in action. So here's the packaging it comes in. <laughs> Pretty simple. Just a, a baggie. Uh, what you get in there is... First you have to try and get into this thing. I think you have to cut this thing open. Or maybe not. Okay. this out right, so here's the controller unit itself uh, the LED strip plugs into there and there's the power adapter and here's sensor uh, if you need a female to female adaptation uh, they send you a adapter, so there's that. It's hard to get it in focus, but it's like two pokey bits. Yeah, there we go. So don't don't lose this if you need it. It'll be hard to use it without it. And of course, now here's the remote. So there you go. So fairly simple setup, and of course. Here is the user's guide. It's one of these fold out booklets. <clears throat> so you'll want to scan the QR code below this thing to download and install the app for free that you're going to be controlling the lights over the internet with and we'll get to that when we get to that uh, first we need to install the thing so let's do that and then we'll take a look at back at this so let's get this thing set up with my with my uh, LED system there's the QR code again Okay, when I originally got my Nexlux lights, it came with a radio frequency controller. So, while that's pretty awesome in and of itself, uh, this of course will be a substantial upgrade. So, not only will it be radio frequency, but I'll be able to control it over the internet. So, first we need to disconnect the power supply. that up. Then now uh, we need to uh, hook up the lights themselves. Ah, okay. That's what the female adapter is for. Because that says a female and that has a female. So I need that. So, good that I have this little piece, because it's 
definitely necessary. Just plug this in right here. There we go. What I'll be doing before I'm done is I'll put some double-sided tape on the here and securing it to the top of my desk like that. <clears throat> Here's the remote. Of course, I think I should be able to just use the remote already on. So here's the remote I have. Okay, not compatible. All right, whatever. Uh, that's fine. There we go. So we do have activity off on uh, green. There. Of course, it has some nice features as flash, as strobe, as fade. smooth <laughs> and of course just regular so it's pretty cool that this is an RF remote on its own so you don't have to have line of sight in order to use it so I can point this at the wall over here So we have it in RF mode, of course, we want to get it set up so it works with the other modes too. So we're going to do that, but first, like I said, I'm going to secure this on this side with some double-sided tape so it stops falling off like this. There we go, we have it secured in place with double-sided tape. And uh, now we're going to get it set up with the phone app. Okay, now to get the app, you can mess with the Q code if you want, uh, but it's relatively easy to find the app. Uh, just search Magic Home at Google Play or in the Apple Store, and you'll turn up uh, Magic Home and Magic Home Pro. Uh, the one you want is Magic Home Pro, and the easiest way to figure this out, aside from the name, is the screenshots. You know, the screenshots look exactly like the screenshots in the user guide for the controller. So this is the one you want. So we're going to install this. This will be my phone. So install all right so I have the app downloaded on my phone and it's pretty easy to set up uh, with the instructions uh, the controller has its own wireless emitter so much like this camera where I can control it in its own little wireless network between the camera and my cell phone if I want to. Same thing for this. So if you have things plugged in properly, 
uh, then the controller will show up as its own device in your wireless network. Now, you can connect to it directly and then just have Magic Home uh, administer it directly after you connect to it. Of course, if you connect, have your phone only connected to the wireless network of the LED controller, uh, then you won't be able to access the internet because again, it acts as, it acts as its own wireless network. So what you really want is to connect to your wireless LED controller through the internet. That way uh, you can still access the internet and administer controls on your LED lights. So here's Magic Home Pro. As you can see, I have my desk lights already set up. Now, um, I would have demonstrated how to do this, uh, but um, I had to figure out how to do it first, and there's, it doesn't appear to be a way to remove a device after it's added. But it's fairly straightforward. What you do is uh, you just follow the directions, really. Um, you'll first want to set up an account with Magic Home Pro. And that's fairly straightforward. Uh, you just, you know, sign it, create a username, which will be whatever email address you want to assign it to, uh, plus a password. Then you go to add a device. And when you add a device, it'll detect the uh, the LED light controller and you click on that and then you add it to your Wi-Fi network and you add it to your Wi-Fi network by giving the LED device the password for your wireless network your local wireless network so they can connect so it can connect to the internet and once you've done that uh, you just give uh, your LED lights con controller a name so you know what it what it is on the internet and uh, that's pretty much it so very easy to set up so I'm going to turn this turn these off this is of course just the regular remote and now I'm going to turn it on using the internet so lights off lights on and just to show you that I'm still connected to the internet, not directly to the lights themselves. Let me get back over here, bring up YouTube. So see, I'm not connected to the wireless network on the LED. I'm connected to my own home wireless network, and the LED controller is connected to the wireless network as well. Because I set it up with the password too, so it can connect. But anyway, let's go back. So, what can you do with this? Well, a lot of stuff, actually. Um, well, the remote is pretty awesome in and of itself, because it is, again, a radio frequency remote, so you don't have to have line of sight. Uh, it really shines when we start using the app, uh, because, again, you can control this anywhere on the, the world really <laughs> as long as you have a and as long as you have an internet connection and the LED controller itself has an internet connection you can control it from afar so let me make sure that the lights are in okay so here we go so I make things blue Rack things over here, make it red, reddish. A little delay in responsiveness because it has to go through the internet, then back here again.
make it control brightness. Here. Make it really green. All right. So there's that. Uh, you have a color circle that you can manipulate to make it do whatever you want. Uh, you have this next thing. So you can manipulate the colors even further. Right back in the middle. Uh, functions. Seven color crossfade. Red gradual change. Green gradual change. Blue gradual change. Yellow gradual change. Speed. You can speed it up. Slow it way down. Put it at fifty percent. Fifty one percent. My fat fingers. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Uh, there's customs, uh, so you can create a, a custom if you want. So, gradual jumping strobe, speed, you can fiddle with this and create your own thing. Uh, Mick. So you can, you can talk, and you can have it do this, so that it matches your voice. Isn't this pretty cool? You can do vocalizations and it'll go I'm singing into my phone and I have lights that accompany me. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? I think it is pretty, pretty cool. Don't you? I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty fantastic. Derp a derp a derp. So that's the microphone setting. And let's let's go back and turn him back on. There we go. Uh, they have music. Uh, this one's fairly obvious. You play music and it matches the music. Now, I don't have any copyright safe music on my phone at the moment, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to pause the recording and then start the recording with a copyrighted song to show you it playing along with that song. So that's a pretty cool function, the music function. So that could be, you know, really useful in terms of, you know, having a dance at your home, club, whatever. Now another really cool feature is this camera mode. 
So what is what is camera mode? Well, let's say you see a color and you want your lights to be that color. Well, what you could do is you could focus focus the camera on that color. You see it matches it right up there. And you say capture color. And <laughs> Um, it'll try and match it as close as possible. Uh, let me see if I can find something. There. The back of this thing. So that's a... That's a little bit closer to what it's supposed to be. find something else there's this thing let me, let me zoom in on its cheek so your results may vary with the color capture thing because it might not be able to exactly match whatever you're trying to capture but it'll give it a try and that's pretty cool so uh, those are the functions down below but wait we still have one more uh, we have the ability to create timers so if we want we can create a timer and uh, it's right now it's see we can set up for all those days or we can deselect certain ones and the action could be turn off uh, we can say um, 35 put it to okay, confirm all right confirm so we're saving that so what I just did is I created a timer uh, to turn this off in about um, well four minutes uh, let me make this a little bit sooner ish Let's see. Uh, Thirty-three. That should be enough. Okay, confirm. All right. So, confirm. All right. So, what I've done is I've created a timer. So, at two thirty-three p.m. every day, uh, it's going to shut off my lights. So, we're going to wait a minute. And see if it shuts off my lights. So this is this is a great way to set up timers for the lights in your home. Or you know if you if you own a club, you can set things up so that uh, the lights turn themselves on and off on a regular basis. So this is this is a great way of not only. Uh, controlling a wide variety of items but also scheduling see there it went 233 turned off and we can create another timer action turn on and repeat and we can let's say 34 confirm confirm Alright, so I have it set for every day to turn on at 2.34. So we're going to wait for 2.34 to come on.
Gonna come on soon. Oh, there it goes. So very easy to set up timers too. And of course, uh, you can delete them or modify them, however you want to deal with them. And of course, there's a direct light control right here. So you turn it off, turn it on. back to green and there you have it so the controller plus magico plus the radio frequency controller makes this a very worthwhile product uh, buy it buy it um, if you have LED lights already and you want to have a lot more control over uh, not only their presentation but how they present uh, then this would be an excellent excellent upgrade to get for them uh, because it allows you to control it not only radio frequency wise uh, but also over the internet so this makes it uh, very very easy to do so and do all kinds of really cool stuff with it. I mean, it's like the color wheel, uh, the brightness functions, the make function, which uh, is really cool, really cool. The music function, of course, the camera for color matching. Uh, ease of access to the power button. And of course, uh, creating your own timers so you can have timed LED light events. So, yes, <laughs> this is so worth it. Uh, again, if you have a pre existing LED light installation, uh, this will be a significant upgrade to that installation uh, and if you don't have an LED installation already uh, then you should definitely buy the full uh, Nexlux LED light kit uh, that comes with this controller because this is an amazing light set and you can do some amazing things with it so buy one today you won't regret it